Race fans at this time, these drivers have one more thing they'd like to do. Let's salute you, the great race fans here at Talladega Short Track, for your support of Dirt Late Model Racing in the Dirt Slang Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series as they form up on the back straightaway. Everybody here on the front, let's get that flash photography ready. Let's stand up. Let's get those camera phones ready, your iPads, your P-pads, whatever you have to record the moment. Here they come. Wave at them. They're waving at you. The cars and stars of the Durant Lane Chevrolet Dirt Lane Model Series. Let them see you. Let them hear you. They're waving at you. And Sam Seawright has elected to start on the outside. So that'll put Cruz Skinner to his left on the inside. Field bunching up in turn three as they approach the VP Racing Lubricant starting box. They're in it, they're on it. Green flags out, we're racing. Into turn one, Seawright makes the outside work. He'll grab the lead. They're three wide for second, down the back straightaway. Jake Knowles up on the outside. Now Skinner gets down to the bottom in front of Corey Hitchcock. So Seawright, your race leader. Jake Knowles in second. Skinner in third. Fourth is Corey Hitchcock. Will Rowland holding down the fifth spot in car number 22. Sam Seawright approaching lap traffic. Jake Knowles beginning to close in. Knowles looking to the inside off of turn four. So now Knowles looking to get a run down the back straightaway into turn three. Brian Marsh in front of the leader, Sam Seawright. Knowles looks to the inside, can't find any room there. He'll step to the outside in turn number one. The battle's up front for the lead. Knowles trying to go to the outside of Seawright in turn three. Seawright sticking right on the bottom with the 16 car, but it'll be Knowles side by side.
Knowles will take the lead down the back straightaway. So Jake Knowles now trying to wheel and deal through lap traffic. He almost gets into the one of Marsh. Now Cruz Skinner puts the front nose piece of his car right on the back bumper. A Sam C ride in heavy lap traffic. Knowles got him a little breathing room from the lap cars down the front straightaway. Jake Knowles off a two down the back stretch. Got the 19 of Marcus Minga in front of him. C Wright still holding down second with Cruz Skinner in third. Fourth is Corey Hedgecock. Will Rowland still riding in the fifth spot. up on the outside. Knowles trying not to give up too much of the bottom. Sam Seawright not that far behind him. Just a couple of car lengths. And now Knowles will clear Marcus Minga down the back straightaway into turn three. Now Seawright will have to work his way around the 19. Here comes Skinner to the inside. Knowles down the back straightaway. He'll keep it up on the top shelf. And Skinner will drive by Seawright to take over the second spot. He'll clear him off two down the back straightaway. Skinner looking for that bonus. We're into the second half of the race. Skinner and Hedgecock battle for second. Hedgecock looks to the inside of the cruise missile. Can make it work. Skinner's got a lot of experience for a driver of 16 at this racetrack. Started racing late models here when he was just 11 years old. But now Hedgecock dives for the bottom in turn three. flag coming out. Trump. Lights are out. We'll look for green this time by 32 laps in the books. 18 to go. 
Jake Knowles can pick up the throttle anywhere he wants to in four. He's in the gas. Green flags out. We're racing. Hitchcock trying to drive underneath Skinner. Skinner will do the crossover. Hedgecock will make it stick down the back straightaway. So Hedgecock now up to second. Hedgecock picked up one of his two wins here at Talladega Short Track. Back on April the 28th during NASCAR weekend. Will Rowland has got by Sam Seawright for the fourth spot. flag coming out got a spin off of turn number four looks like the zero five car of TJ Britton in car number 66 running the same paint scheme that his dad Wade Knowles ran for many years here they come off the fourth turn. Green flag is out. And Seawright gets by Roland to take over the fourth spot. Knowles able to keep Hitchcock three car links behind him. Coming up on 10 laps to go. Forty laps down, 10 to go. It's show and tell time. If Corey Hitchcock has anything for Jake Knowles, he's going to have to show it now. Laps are beginning to run out, and Knowles is pulling away. So far, Crew Skinner has nothing for Hitchcock. Seawright closing in a little bit on Skinner here in the closing laps. Maybe the pole sitter has saved a little bit for the end of the race. And that is now. Here comes the 16 to the inside of the 11. Sam Seawright throws the slider on Skinner. Skinner gets into the back of him and taking advantage of that is Chase Walls in the 25 as he will move up into the third spot. So Jake Knowles down the back straightaway. Maintaining about a five car length advantage. Knowles trying to stay out of that lap traffic with two to go. Two laps to go. Knowles closing in on Marcus Minga in the 19 car. Hitchcock like a shark seeing blood in the water. 
White flag is out. It's showtime. Does Hedgecock have anything left for Knowles? Knowles down the back straight away. He'll tuck back in behind Mingan, turn three. Here comes Hedgecock, diving for the bottom. Nothing there, and Jake Knowles will take the win. Corey Hedgecock second. Chase Walls in third. Fourth will go to Sam Seawright. And fifth will be Will Rowland in car number 22.